everyone, it's Josh with Big Daddy Unlimited, and I'm here with Jim of Elevated Silence. He's the guy that made all these things happen. Um, we're gonna be shooting some guns today. We're gonna be talking about silencers. So I'm gonna kick it over to Jim. Jim, tell us more about your silencers. Today, we're gonna start out with our flagship can, the Evolution. This is our uh, cross-platform can. It's good on anything from 17 HMR to 300 Win Mag and does it nicely. The secret sauce is the caliber specific brakes. They come in 5.56, 6.5, and 30 caliber. The way that integrates with our dual blast chamber and baffle stack, it reduces the aperture coming out, therefore reducing the noise properly. And tell us about how it affects um, point of aim, point of impact when you're shifting between uh, silenced and unsuppressed. One of the big things for me years ago was point of impact shift with uh, several of the other cans that I had owned. And in order to reduce that, we had to figure out how to vent it properly, making everything even as the bullet exits. So and that's what we've done. We have a net zero point of impact shift. We have a minimal first round pop. It only weighs in at 15.3 ounces, eight and a quarter inches long. It's great for your rifle. Yeah, and I've had the pleasure of shooting this for about a week now, and I can tell you one of the cool things about these cans are how light they are um, compared to other cans on the market, but also the fact that when you're shooting this can, it's like first shot all the way to the hundredth shot. It sounds exactly the same. It doesn't really change at all as far as the sound quality goes. Very hearing safe, um, and like I said, you don't like Jim said. You don't get that first round pop. It's more like you know. It's it kind of just fades into the background, and then everything sounds exactly the same after that, which is kind of nice. Um, so you don't get that weird surprise at the first part. Another thing we do with all of our cans is we have a, a coating that is applied during manufacturing. It's called S line, and it doesn't allow for any carbon buildup whatsoever. So you weigh this can on the day of purchase, it's 15.3 ounces. You weigh it 10,000 rounds later, and it's still 15.3 ounces. As far as this goes, um, what other cans do you have on the market at the moment? At the moment, we got our Leo 6.5. That is our law enforcement only can. I am in the process of getting ready to release one for the public. It's a 5.56 dedicated, six inches long, weighs in at nine ounces. Great little can, you'll be seeing more of that. And one we just finished up is behind me, is our Brat 6.5. It is a 6.5 dedicated can that does the same as the Evolution comes in at 7.3 inches long and weighs 11.4 ounces. Great little can. How about some 22s? I know you got some 22 cans out there. I do have some cool 22 stuff. We have several integral barrels for the Ruger platform. And uh, some of you may know that the Ruger platform was also good for the Thompson Center. Um, there are a few others that are slipping my mind right now that it does fit as well. But the, the 1022, whether it be for precision or the takedown, we, we got several of them like that. All right, well, um, let's kick it over to Riley and make some noise or lack thereof. Um, see how this, how this thing does at point of aim, point of impact. At, we're gonna do 600 yards. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's Riley Croft. We're out here at the Bradford Sportsman's Ranch today with Big Daddy Unlimited. And we're trying out this new can from Elevated Silence. This is the Brat 6.5 and it specifically was designed to shoot suppressed, unsuppressed. And so what we're gonna do today is shoot a few rounds unsuppressed, throw it on, and show you the minimal point of impact change with the suppressor on. All right, so as you saw, um, minimal shift a point of impact with uh, the Brat 6.5. Uh, I mean, can't say much about that. It's super accurate. Um, the sound quality is great. Um, Jim, what did you think about it? Uh, that's one reason we de we dedicated that can to the 6.5 platform because I didn't want, I wanted next to no impact shift and the first round pop lack of significance is where we wanted that can and that's where we got it. All right, so that's enough for the long range stuff. We're gonna go out to the tactical bay and shoot some fun stuff. We'll see what happens.
All right, so we just came back from the tack bay, uh, shooting all these cool things. Uh, we got um, one of our shop SVRs with uh, the Leo 556, and we also have the 1022 takedown uh, barrel set up on one of our 1022s. And I'm going to kick it over to Riley to tell you a little bit more about the Leo 556. Yes, yeah, so we just got off the range. We shot the uh, the Leo 556, and this can is crazy. I cannot wait for the commercial version to come out this year. We heated it up. We uh, ran it through all the tests. It was a great rifle. Ran great. This can is about six inches, and it is super light. You don't even really feel it at the end of the gun, and it's super quiet and really easy to move around. Like yeah. you can you can whip this thing around. It doesn't even feel like you have it on there compared to some other um, silencers on the market. Sure. So everybody's seen into integrally suppressed barrels before. Um, so this isn't anything super crazy new, but I will tell you that this is one of the easiest ones to take down, clean and put back together and super quiet. Um, I've, I've shot some integrally suppressed barrels before on 1022s and they're all really quiet, but this one is the most impressive out of all of them, I feel. Um, just overall ease of use and everything like that. So um, I'm super excited. I'm going to try to get myself one um, in the near future. But yeah. Um, so that's a wrap at the Bradford Sportsman's Farm with uh, Big Daddy Unlimited, Riley Kropp, and Jim from Elevated Silence. We'll see you all next time.